What did your last relationship teach you about yourself? Okay. Ang hirap niyan, shit. I wanted to quit. Gusto ngayon lagay ng puso mo. Paparamdam na talaga siya matagal niya. So, nandun ako ngayon. Guys, ang hirap. <laughs> Hi guys! I'm Bea Alonso and welcome to my channel. First of all, I would like to thank all of you for watching my previous video, The Home Tour. Thank you for all your comments and all your suggestions. And because of that, I have prepared some bubbles for Seco to celebrate life in general. Kasi alam mo naman ngayon, kailangan natin ng support sa isa't isa, lalo na in this unprecedented time. Kailangan natin gumawa ng isang community that would push each other to become better and you know, to feel good. To always be grateful for everything that we have. And because I have all of you watching me, I am grateful. So maraming salamat. Cheers! So, remember, a few weeks ago, I asked you to send in your questions so I can answer them on video. And here they are. I am actually ready to answer your questions. The first question is from Jen underscore Gregorio. When was the last time you laughed so hard? When I had my friends over a few weeks ago, we had dinner. But for some reason, nakaisip kami ng magic wine glass, magic beer glass, magic everything. So sobrang ridiculous na mga pinag-uusapan namin. Taong tawa ako, sinhalos na sa floor kami kakatawa. Next question is from Chloe Sammy. What is your favorite Filipino word? Tadhana. What did your last relationship teach you about yourself? That I am stronger than I think. That I am resilient and that I can survive anything in life and that I am worthy. Oh. Next question is from Mutya K. Hi Idol! Ano po yung advice nyo sa young ladies na walang confidence sa sarili? Love you! Love you too! Actually, I was just like you when I was a teenager. Wala talaga mong confidence at all. At that time, imagine yung mga kasabayan mo, sina Ann Curtis, sina Angel Luxin, sina Angelica Panganiban, na sobrang hot nila, and they're really good actors. So parang ako, and nag-focus ako dun sa bagay that made me feel most alive and uninsecure. And that was acting for me. I felt empowered when I was acting because I knew I was good at it. But you know what? Young ladies, I think you just have to love yourself for who you are, flaws and all. After a while, yun na natutunan ko eh, na nobody will love you as much as you love yourself. If people see you that you love yourself and that you take care of you because you love you, people will start to actually respect you. Ina Finance. Tips how you finally move on from heartbreaks? Thanks, Bo. Just do. It won't come instantly. It won't be easy. But you just have to take it one day at a time. And just acknowledge your feelings. If you're still not okay, if you have not forgiven the person who hurt you, it's okay. Because that day will come. Just trust the process. Because sometimes we get caught up in a situation where parang feeling mo it's so painful and parang hindi mo kaya and so you go back to stage one personally yun yung nangyari parang I didn't trust myself that I could do it and narealize ko na kung inacknowledge ko yung feeling na vulnerable ako that I need help from friends and family baka mas nalagpasan ko siya earlier baka na discount ko yung masasakit na yung to ng buhay ko but of course I had to learn the hard way but kung may iwasan naman sana may iwasan mo from Gian Lucero 14. What have you learned as a kapamilya? Oh, this is such a nice question. Everything I know about the business, I know because I am a kapamilya. Before naman ako nag-artisan, hindi ko naman alam kung paano ako marte. But more than that, I learned how to love a colleague, how to care about one another. I have learned the value of hard work and the gift of friendships because 90% of my friends are from ABS because I started when I was 13 years old. Imagine, para hindi ko pa nabubuo yung pagkatao ko. They helped me hone the person that I am today. What was the biggest turning point in your life? Para every stage of my life, there is this big turning point for me at that specific stage of my life. Like for example, the biggest turning point in my life when I was in my teenage years was becoming an artista. Like that changed my life. Even my lifestyle and the life of my family. Actually, the turning point was before One More Chance when I didn't want to become an artista anymore. 
I wanted to quit. Kasi parang feeling ko baka, ito na ba yun? Parang hindi ako masaya. And then one more chance came. And then boom, parang it actually made my career. And I learned so much. And then after that, yung ibang turning point, of course, the most recent one was heartbreak. Right now, I'm facing new beginnings. And I'm actually very excited for what's in store for me. Now, every day I am learning, there is this intention to be better. I would pray na sana this day would bring me more lessons in life, more wisdom. I guess the point of having turning points and the point of all the heartbreaks or the trials that you have is to just become a better person and just be mindful of all the learnings that you got from the past heartbreaks or the past trials of your life. Okay, from red underscore a phone. What is your favorite movie? Ang hirap niyan, shit. Hindi yung of all time, ah. But the most recent one that I liked very much, yung A Marriage Story. Ah, oh, gusto kong gumawa ng ganong klaseng pelikula. Jenny Julian. What is your personality? I think you are a gentle, supportive type. I don't know. Maybe I am gentle. I think I'm an achiever. I'm very hard on myself, to be honest. Most of the time, I don't even watch myself some of reviews for acting because I I tend to not let go of the idea na hindi ko nagawa yung gusto kong gawin and that parang nahihilis akong makita yung sarili ko sa ano. Parang feeling ko tanga niya. I never saw myself as the competitive type. Kaya siguro hindi rin ako into sports. Like, I don't care if somebody else wins. Not to be arrogant, ah. I'm not into awards. Hindi dun nagmumula yung validation ko. I'm thankful for all the awards. Pero that won't change the way I see myself. Bae Kathy, how do you manage to overcome all your trials in life? Faith. Maybe knowing that I am just a speck of dust. Na ang dami 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 tao sa mundo na mas madami dami dami pas mahirap na pinagdadaanan kisa sa akin. Idanti sa forever endeavor. Tama <laughs> tawin forever endeavor. <laughs> Most treasured jewelry piece and why? Diamond earrings from my mom. Kasi sure parang heirloom na siya. Eh. Thursday Barkada underscore JLCBA. Honk or dad bod? Wala akong pakialam <laughs> sa katawan. Gusto ko mahal ako. <laughs> Mahalin mo lang ako. Okay na ako. Phil Ruth Joy Ulsano. Ano pong masasabi mo sa mga fan mo po noon na basher mo na po ngayon? It's sad. Because it's never okay to be a basher. Maybe I would have appreciated it more if they went and supported another actor or another personality. We need more positivity these days na ang dami-dami negative things na nangyari sa buong mundo. If they want to bash me, hanggang doon naman, hindi naman ako mapapatay ng mga salita eh. Pero baka sila, ma-affect sila na. Ikaw yung magdadala nun eh kapag ikaw yung nagbitaw ng mga masasakang salita. It's never okay to be a basher, but if that's what they want, go lang kung happy ka. Kung happy ka. Okay, from Andre Pagtakhan. What's your favorite food? Japanese food. Liza Ramos, 143. Hi, Bay. I'm an avid lab fan since 2000. Thank you. Are you open for a renew project with Idan on digital platform? Definitely, in any platform. He's such a great actor. Bay Angels official. Ano feeling na may nephew ka na ngayon? I'm officially a tita. Hindi, masayang-masaya kami kasi ang tagal na namin gusto magkaroon ng baby sa family. I'm just very, very happy that my brother has now entered fatherhood and he's very good at it. I'm very proud of him for the person that he has become and that I know that he will raise Santi in the best way that he can. Lahat ng lessons in life, he papas on niya kay Santi. And I'm just very happy. Legit finds PH. Favorite movie and tell us your character of Bay and JLC. Movie? Definitely, Popoy and Basha. Kasi parang si Popoy and Basha, parang may sarili silang mundo. Parang totoong tao sila na ibang entity. Tell us yung character naman. Si Jackie at si Ellie sa maging scene naman. Sana naman next time, meron yung drinking game. May kasama ako dito. Parang boring pala pag ako lang. Pwede nyo bang i-comment kung sino gusto nyo kasama kung uminom dito. Okay, Sofia Fresnido. What is your favorite season and why? Sa Pilipinas, sa ginatatag-araw lang. In general, I was born during fall because I was born in October. So, siguro fall. Gusto ko ang fall. Actually, there's something dramatic about it. Pero kasali ba ang Christmas season sa season sa Pilipinas? <laughs> Kasi yun ang paborito ko. Christmas season. Annie.bv Celebrity crush local and international. Local? 
Jenny Corazales, si crush. Alam niya yun. Crush nga tawag ko sa kanya. International. Before Ryan Gosling, there was Leonardo DiCaprio. And then Joaquin Phoenix. Pero kasi si Joaquin noon pa yun eh. Nagpaparamdam na talaga siya matagal niya. Kaya lang, sinabi ni Leonardo, papakasalan kita. So sabi ko, sure, ano ba? And then si Ryan Gosling said na, no, please, let's just have fun first. So, nandun ako ngayon. Guys, hirap. <laughs> Niggs underscore galore. Mahal ka o mahal mo? <laughs> ba yan? Kainis. Charot. Dati, sinasabi ko lagi, mahal ko. Kasi di ba, syempre, yun talaga magdadala ng totoong kaligyan sa iyo kapag mahal mo. Pero alam mo, parang naniniwala na ako sa sinabi ng nanay ko na mas magiging tunay na masaya ka lang at magtatagal ang isang relasyon kung pipili ka ng isang tao mas mahal ka kaysa mahal mo. So, nandun ako sa mas mahal ako. Ninel Salazar. What is your diet and exercise routine? Yung diet, um eat anything that I want. I like to eat. I love to eat. Ang hirap talaga. Exercise routine, I used to run a lot. They have to be honest, parang ngayon mas nag-relax ako. But I want to get back on track. I have been running again and I have been rowing. So, ang goal ko is to be as strong and as fit and as thin as I was during the ABS-CBN ball. Fave scene with Thursday Barkata. Off cam. Lahat ng kagaguhan. Next, from HYDRMNS. Do you love your fans? Definitely, yes. I'm very appreciative of them kasi talagang supporters ko na ever since kay tagal kang hinintay. That was my first ever teleserye. So I'm very thankful to have them in my life. As cliche as it may sound, but wala ako dito kung wala sila. Ako sobrang na-appreciate ko na through these years, hindi nila ako iniwan. Minsan iniisip ko, am I deserving of it? But, Bottom line is, they're there. I am here to inspire them. And they are the ones who inspire me to do the things that I do. Kasi syempre, ibang push din kapag alam mo may mga nakaka-appreciate sa'yo, di ba? So maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. Wow. Sentimental. Okay, Sandy Licious. Hi, Ms. Bea. What's your recent skincare routine po? And what products do you use? Thank you. Alam mo, I'm so glad you asked because I think this calls for another episode. So watch out, Sandy. What's your biggest pet peeve? Messy areas. Be Alonso Forever underscore. What would be a good theme song for your life? Tiko tiko tang, tiko tiko tiko. Charot. Niko alam. Comment down below kung ano sa tingin niyo. What were the top three lessons you learned the hard way? That you cannot change a person, and that you are unique and. You should never compare yourself to anybody else. Next, kay Rachel and Zamora. Ano ang pinakamahirap sa pagiging isang Bea Alonso? Maging mataba. <laughs> ang hirap magpapayat Mars. Uy, comment dyan o yung mga kagaya ko. Z Pora 3. Movie with Alden soon? Ah, oh, sana. Wish ko rin. He's such a nice person. I've worked with him. Sobrang bait. At hindi lang siya, pati yung team niya. So, I had the best time with him. I think he's a very, very good actor. Napanood ko yung Hello, Love, Goodbye. Sobrang galing nila ni Katrin doon. Bea Ian underscore Venelonzo. May pag-asa pa ba ng project po kayo ni Papa E? Mm, sana. He's one of my leading men na pag tinignan ko lang, alam ko kung ano yung bibigay niya. And so, yun yung tinatawag na chemistry eh. For some reason, swak kayo. May connection talaga kayo. And I was very lucky that he was like that because it makes my work a lot easier. Ang gwapo ni Papa Ian, ano? Sobra. Underscore Frances Faye. If you're going to die tomorrow, what would you say to the top three most important people in your life? Thank you. I'm sorry. I love you. Z Palatolon. How many fans do you have now, Miss Bea? Oh my god, hindi ko alam, honestly. I have so many. I'm a plantita. Let's describe the next day you will fall in love with. A guy who's madly in love with me. Capricorn Girl 2982. Musta ngayon lagay ng puso mo. Kaya mo siya. <laughs> Nag-entertain siya. Nag-date siya. Open siya maging masaya. Thank you for asking. And there you have it. Thank you so much for all your questions. I hope you enjoyed our time together. And sana nasagot ko yung mga questions niyo properly. So maraming maraming salamat. If ever meron kayong suggestions for my next episodes, you can comment down below. Maraming maraming salamat for always supporting me. And um, please don't forget to subscribe and like if you like the video and share this video. Bye guys! Cheers!